Hello and welcome to this case from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound. I'm Dr Camilla Edwards. So this was a female entire crossbreed with a history of pancreatitis and the CPLI was abnormal. So we were confirming pancreatitis on ultrasound. So in this first clip we get to see um, the duodenum at the top of the screen here. Um, and we're just trying to follow that down towards the pyloroduodenal junction. As we know, the pancreas follows really closely around this area. So here again, we've got the duodenum at the top, slightly in transverse, and we get the right limb of the pancreas popping up on the side, just some slightly hypoechoic um, compared to the surrounding tissue there. Then we follow the duodenum down towards the pyloroduodenal junction, where the um, body of the pancreas follows. So a closer look at this, we can see this structure here, which is the body of the pancreas, and it's quite hypoechoic, more so than the right limb of the pancreas was compared to the surrounding tissue. There we can see the pancreaticoduodenal vein running through the right limb of the pancreas, leading down to this hypoechoic body of the pancreas. Again, the duodenum here um, and the right limb of the pancreas. And we can really see that anechoic tube running through the centre that is the pancreaticoduodenal vein. So that's a really nice view of the right limb of the pancreas. And we can sort of appreciate the um, echogenicity of it. Um, so here again, with this video looping, um, here is the right limb of the pancreas. Really, really nice um, fairly isoechoic surrounding tissues there. But when we follow, in, we're following in transverse, so this is the duodenum in transverse down towards um, the pyloroduodenal junction, the pancreas becomes a bit darker, so hypoechoic here. So we can really see this um, duodenum in transverse and this hypoechoic body of the pancreas here. We can follow that down and you can see it gets darker as it moves down towards the, the um, area next to the stomach. So this um, is uh, an indication of pancreatitis. Here we have the duodenum in transverse um, towards the pyloroduodenal junction. So this is the body of the pancreas um, and it's hypoechoic compared to the surrounding tissue here. So in this case, the body of the pancreas was particularly hypoechoic compared to the surrounding tissue, and this was consistent with pancreatitis.